Our employees have redefined what public service means. We actively look for people who have a sense of purpose because it's important in Farmers Branch to serve in a certain way. And what I found is that the people that we have on staff go way beyond their job description. They know it's important to improve the quality of lives of the citizens of Farmers Branch. They care about the citizens, they know why they're in their positions, but they do so much more than it says in their job description. I think the combination of, of finding employees who have a sense of purpose, along with training values that are important to customer service, go a long way with increasing our abilities to serve the citizens of Farmers Branch. And what I found as being city manager is that those people have taken to that cause and have taken to serving citizens above and beyond the call of duty way more than any other employees I've ever had the privilege to work with. They believe that making citizens' lives better actually enhances their lives also, and it's evident in everyday life. As we were doing our routine maintenance in our properties, um, Leo was driving the truck and I was planning for our next moves on the, once we got to our location. And as we were driving down this residential street, just out of the corner of my eye, I noticed a person waving at us. And so I told Leo, stop the truck. And uh, we immediately hopped out. It was me and Leo and a, another seasonal worker that was working with us that day. And she immediately had told us that her mother had fallen in the backyard and by the pool and drug herself up to the front. And she, she drug herself on her behind all the way to the front, got her cell phone and called her daughter. And, and her daughter had gotten to this point and could not get her lifted to get her up the stairs. So when we got up there, we asked if they wanted us to help lift her. And she said, oh, please. And so with one of us in each arm, she, uh, she, we got her up and into the house, she was okay. She, uh, she was a little wobbly, but once we got her inside, we just continued to ask her if she was all right. Everything was good. She, uh, she offered us a drink and, and uh, we're happy. She was, she was really happy and uh, that we came along and uh, we were thankful that we could help her. Uh, as we got in the truck, it was even better. We, we all conversed and, and uh, the rest of the day felt good. I, I have expressed on, on several occasions how proud I am for this, as well as all of the other services that they uh, uh, do for our fine city and, and uh, for each other as a team. Absolutely, I would do it again. One example of an officer going above and beyond was in a recent ice storm. Uh, officer Timothy Drakes, about one o'clock in the morning, notice uh, a mother and a teenage daughter uh, getting into their vehicle, leaving a business late at night. They would closed up and uh, went over and offered assistance to them, made sure they were okay. With transformers blowing, electricity out all through the neighborhood, they were they were frightened. And he took um, uh, time to de-ice their windshield, scrape the ice off, and you know it was two inches thick at the time. Uh, with, with his own hands. That's just a prime example of going beyond what the public expects of a police officer. They expect a police officer to provide safety and security, pro uh, maintain safe flow of traffic, and look for bad guys. Well, we go beyond that. I've been in Farmer's Branch for about 27 years, and I've been coming here since it opened in 2004. I've gotten a lot of strength back in my, my left side because my left side is paralyzed. And I've been working out on the machines and I'm building up muscles in my legs and my arms. And I get a lot of exercise walking around the track. I wanted to be independent and come back to the rack by myself. And I couldn't get up the ramp when it was raining and cold and windy. So I asked for some handrails. It's not uncommon at all to just take one request to get uh, some major things done. 
thank you very, very much for responding so quickly. And it's not only me that it helps, it's all the people that come up here that are on canes and walkers. Because I feel like more secure when, I, when I'm walking up the ramp that if I need to hold on, I can. A lot of that would be above and beyond anywhere else, but here it's, it's really not above and beyond at all. It's kind of everyday thing. Yeah. Wimperly was excellent. And she's always been fast to, to respond to our needs. That's one of the things that you learn very quickly is that we are here for our patrons, for our, our members, for everyone that is in our city and takes part of things that we try to do what they need. And it's, it's, if we can, we get it done. Uh, Officer Clint Turner, Pete Turner as we call it, um, he had a welfare concern call elderly man had just gotten out of the hospital and it was back last summer when the temperatures was over 100 degrees. While he was in the hospital, his electric bill didn't get paid and they cut off his electricity. So Officer Turner went through the steps to get his walking through, getting his electricity restored and at the same time set it up for automatic payment so that if, that would never happen to him in the future. The officers uh, care about solving problems not just looking for crime. The day the tornado happened, I was here at uh, Fire Station 1, and we were watching the news, and we decided to, to head up that way the next morning we got off shift. When two-story homes were down to less than five feet, you know, and, and uh, to, to be there and to help them and to do whatever you can just to, to get their lives back into some kind of semblance of an order, that, that, was, that was amazing to me and I, I'm going to take that with me for the rest of my life. Just to be able to go up there and apply what I've learned and, and the experience I have with this fire department and, and, and help other people, that, that's really what it's all about. I mean, to be able to make a difference in their lives, that's, that's what I'm going to take away from this. Two weeks later, I received a glowing letter from the chief of the Moore Fire Department commending uh, Driver Nigo and Firefighter Bill Harz on their effort and the difference that they made. And, uh, you know, I just can't be more proud of them. We were uh, sent out to uh, a medical emergency. Uh, the, I believe it was a 14-year-old boy at the time anyway. Lives on a, a respirator to breathe for him, a number of other medical devices. Uh, he has quite an extensive medical history, and one of the devices uh, was failing, I believe, if I recall correctly, that day. And he had some—he was bleeding out of one of the sites where there, there's, a, you know, one of the devices is connected. As we were taking the patient out on the cot, uh, there's a wheelchair ramp on the front porch going down, and it was pretty wobbly. It was a nice little drop off, how it shouldn't have been. It should have been nice and level, sturdy, and so. I went over to Lieutenant Castro and asked him if he thought it'd be all right if we just repaired it really quick for the family. Uh, the medic had already taken off with the patient, so we're sitting there on the engine, grabbed a toolbox and just brought it up to level, tightened it up, got everything back to sturdy. Just thought it'd be a nice thing to do. It's a family that has a lot of stuff going on. They, a wheelchair ramp is probably one of the last things they're thinking of when their son's on a respirator, breathing, you know, doing the tubes and all that, and so just something simple you could do to help him out. They may or may not even notice it, but it'll be a smoother ride out every time he goes out to get in the car, you know, in his wheelchair. And so. The level of service and dedication that they showed that day, you're just not gonna find everywhere. And I think we're lucky to have guys like that working here in Farmers Branch. They focused not only on the medical needs of that patient, but they focused on the quality of life issue. And that's, that's just so important about doing things the Farmers Branch way. Well, we responded to a major accident at Valley View and Webb Chapel uh, mid-morning. We uh, arrived on scene and found a car in the house on the uh, northeast corner of uh, the intersection. Uh, no one was injured. The homeowner, when he came out, he was an elderly man. He was, uh, he was upset. He had a car in the, in, in the house. And he also uh, he was really pressed for time because his wife was in the hospital. And now, once they, when they removed the vehicle from the house, he had a huge hole in the side of his house. I mean, how do you take care of that? Um, the uh, crew out of Station 1, led by Captain Murphy, looked at that and said, you know what, that's not acceptable. We called down and had one of the boys at, uh, in the admin pick up some lumber. 
some plywood and, and some uh, two by fours. And we went back after lunch and they, uh, the boys framed the opening uh, to stabilize the wood, they, they framed it. And uh, not only to, to hold the uh, sheeting, but to also keep it from, from crumbling any further. We had to make sure that the, there was bricks, there was a brick wall, that those were, they were the ones that were really loose removed and we could make sure that we could find a, a safe place to start framing in the two befores that we could screw the plywood to to actually plash the hole. It's a culture. It's a, it's a culture that, that uh, not any one officer brings. It's, it's a, a culture that was fostered over years and years. That's how we learned a lot of things is by watching the guys ahead of us. Um, you see how citizens appreciate it and you just you try to pass that down to the younger guys. The Farmer's Branch Way is, is, is a mindset that the community has and it's not just the fire department, the police department, parks, public works, the library. The Farmer's Branch Way is to make sure that we take care of the needs of the people. We take care of their problems and we make sure that they have a good experience with us. That's the Farmer's Branch Way to us. I truly appreciate a city that uh, empowers its employees to do the right thing. Well, it's that quality of service that the officers are uh, striving for each and every day. We try to do what they need, and if we can, we get it done. That's really why we do this job, is to, to help people in their time of need. Provide a quality of life for our citizens. That, that's really what it's all about. I mean, to be able to make a difference in their lives. The boys take pride in what they do, and, and, and they take pride in going that extra mile. It's a good, it's a good feeling overall. Happy to come to work with those guys every day.